As you know, the brand new M2 Mac Mini just came out. People are excited, but who in the world should be buying this? I'm gonna break it down. You're gonna be shocked because not everyone should buy that. There's only specific cases where you should buy the M2 Mac Mini. And uh, I'm gonna use some kind of higher end professional YouTubers to kind of prove my case here. Let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. So if you watch all the big technology YouTubers like myself, um, like Marquez or basically Max Tech that do a lot of Mac stuff, you're going to notice that they just came out with brand new M2 videos as far as the Mac Mini. And uh, you're going to be scratching your head if you watch both of those. They came out of basically around the same day. Now, one of them is saying, Max Tech is saying basically that overall, don't buy this system. And that's what his video title is. I mean, I'm going to show you some videos coming up here that'll prove that. Um, but basically, you got to watch the whole video of his. All right, we got that part of it out. And now you can have a closer look of that memory chip, a single one, and that empty slot where Apple used to put in two. Now the second thing is, is Marquez. He's basically saying this is a game changer. Everyone loves the M2. It is a game changer in certain cases, but overall, I don't know if he's exactly right either. So that the Mac Mini is actually the more interesting machine. And I mean it, it really is. It's just gotten a refresh from the M1 chip that it had before to now having an M2 and an M2 Pro option, both of which are kind of game changers in their own ways. So without getting too much into it, I'm gonna get a little bit more into this with you and I'm gonna prove to you exactly who should be buying this. So are you confused? Well, I was too, but let me break it down for you. So who's right here? Actually, they both are. They're both right, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why they're both right. It's gonna make a lot more sense, and I'm gonna tell you exactly who should be buying an M2 Mac Mini right now, and exactly what model you should buy. All right, right off the bat, you know, the M2 Mac Mini actually dropped from, it went from $699 for the base to $599. Apple dropped it 100 bucks. That should be a good thing, right? Well, it is, but they took some shortcuts. And this is, I think, what Max Tech was talking about. So if you watch the video on Max Tech, he's basically gonna tell you exactly the two things that are wrong with it and a couple other things as far as charts and stuff. And you'll get the gist of it, but I wanna kind of explain to you what the problem is with the base model M2 Mac Mini right now. So what he's saying basically is do not get the base model. And there's a reason for that. So in the base model, it only comes with 256 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, what that did basically is, remember the M2 MacBook Air? Remember the speed difference in the SSDs? Well, it's the same problem with the M2 Mac, Mac Mini, and that's the problem here. So you're only gonna get one DRAM chip instead of two, and your, your basically speed of the SSD is gonna be almost half. You're gonna see, let me just show you a chart here. You can see it versus the M1. The M The M1 Mac Mini didn't have the same issue. The M2 now has that kind of speed cut in half. And there is the issue right there that he's talking about, right? So, well, that's just the speed of the SSD, but look what he did over here. He He showed you basically, if you're running some tabs and doing some work in the background and you wanna run kind of a 4K edit, look at the difference in time. The M1 actually beats the M2 by quite a bit as far as render time. And that's really shocking and it's something that Apple should never do, but they did it again here. So the base model is what he's talking about for sure. So that's number one. Now, if you watch the Marquez video, you're gonna see a couple things here. He basically is talking about something a little bit different when he says game changer. He's talking about the higher end models. But if you look at his video, he recommends, you know, and a lot of them do, but you basically wanna start, let me just show you my screen over here before I get into what he said. There's three different models that they came out with. The one is the base right here, 599. That's the one that Max Tech is saying don't get. And we'll get into that. The second thing over here is 799. Now that, pro that one's 799, it only comes with an extra 256 uh, as far as storage, but it fixes that DRAM problem and you get the two chips and you get the ultra fast SSD. So that's probably the best sweet spot for kind of the base user, the 799. So you're gonna kind of be spending a little bit more to get that. And then the third thing that Marquez was talking about, which is probably what his whole video was about, game changing, was this next one, 1299. It's basically gonna be you know, an awesome system. It's gonna have 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU, 512 SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and it's super fast because it's got the M2 Pro. It's got a different chip, a Pro chip, way faster, and that thing even competes kind of like with the Studio. So you're gonna be looking at that thing as far as a game changer because the price went way down on that. So if you're a video editor or something like that, that's what you wanna be looking at, that system right there. Forget the base model, right? Let's just set that up. Now, who actually here should be buying these, right? I'm gonna give you three different cases of who you are and who, which one you should buy. 
this may hopefully help people you know, understand better what actually is the right one for them. I, I hope it does, but you guys let me know in the comments if I, if I nailed it or if I'm off by a little bit. All right, so case number one, you have an M1 Mac Mini already, and you just want the base model of the M2. Case number one is you should not buy it, right? Max Tech just showed you that you're probably gonna actually maybe even go down in speed in some cases, but it's gonna be, the M1 is gonna be so fast, it's gonna be comparable to the M2. You're only getting the little bit of increase with the M2 chip. The main thing there would be if you want like another year of security updates later on, a couple of five, six years from now. But realistically, just keep your M1. Don't upgrade to the M2 if you're looking at that base model M2. It doesn't, it's not fast enough. And that's something that you shouldn't upgrade. Keep your M1, sell it in a couple years, and then maybe buy the M3 or the M4. But just take a break on this one. All right, so now this is number two. Now, this is if you don't even have a Mac Mini, you want to buy one for the first time, or you have an older Intel. And now you're going to have a choice, right? An older Intel Mac Mini. If you have one of those, none or an older one, I don't care what you upgrade to. If you upgrade to the M2, it's going to still be faster than the Intel, and it's also going to be faster than nothing, right? But you're going to have a choice. Look at the cost. If you can get the M1 Mac Mini for, and, you're, and you just want the base model, mind you, that's what you're looking for, then definitely just pick up, you know, if you can get the M1 for a lot cheaper, get that, because there's not going to notice a difference. Compared to the old Intel, it's way faster. Compared to nothing, it's way faster. So if you can get a good price, maybe get the M1. But more, more realistically, get the M2 because of the security updates and stuff. So that's if you have no nothing right now, or if you have the old Intel Mac Mini. Then you can look at both of those. I mean, I would probably just get the M2 there, even though it's gonna be a little bit slower in some cases, but if you're just looking for the base where you wanna open up just basic applications and do like, you know, video calls and stuff, that one's probably gonna be the one that you wanna get for, for a little bit cheaper. Um, it'll actually be a little bit more than the M1, but still, it's, it's, it's a good price and pick that one up. All right, so the third case now is you got the M1 Mac Mini um, and you have it right now. Now, but, but you're also more of a power user. So you do video editing, you do um, you know, maybe photo editing and stuff like that. Now you have a choice. So if you're more of a power user and you have the M1 Mac Mini, maybe the base model, you definitely then wanna think about upgrading the M2. But the thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get either the model that's 799, which is gonna have the, you know, the 512 gigabyte SSD. So you get the dual DRAM and you get the faster SSD. And that's the minimum you probably wanna do there, but you're still gonna get a little bit faster CPU. But I would actually then look at the 1299 one because that one's gonna come with the M2 Pro. It's gonna come with obviously the upgraded RAM, the upgraded um, RAM as far as that and storage and things like that. So you're gonna want that one for sure if you're kind of like a high-end video producer or something, or even like a YouTube producer. But again, you're talking, you know, five hundred, six, four, five, six hundred bucks somewhere in there. So you got to really consider it. If you're just kind of a small YouTuber like myself, you know, the seven ninety nine is probably fast enough. But don't get the base model. So I just want to kind of explain what people are doing here as far as they're picking these things up based off of thinking they're going to upgrade, and then they're seeing that it's actually slower in some cases. And there's a way to get around this. You got to buy the right model, and that's really kind of what sucks. What Apple did to everybody, and I think this is the only iteration this is going to actually happen, and then we're all going to get used to this. But that's what they did. So they could have done this for, you know, I think it's like 10 extra bucks they could have put into this thing and, and put two just just two chips in, and it would have fixed the issue. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. So I hope everyone understands exactly why those two videos were confusing. One person saying don't get it, don't get it, it's terrible. The other person saying it's a game changer. They're both big techs, like myself. Um, I'm just kidding. But basically, what you want to do is, you know, think about it. Um, if you have the M1, you know, definitely think about what, what you're even upgrading to. If you're going to upgrade to that mid model, it's worth it. If you're going to upgrade just to the base, it's not. You know, if you're, if you're if, especially if you're into like a lot of video editing and stuff, then go for the 1299 model. That's totally worth it. It's way better than maybe spending 19, 2000 bucks for the studio. So think about all this stuff. Do you have a monitor? You know, obviously, you need, then you need a high end monitor and all that stuff. Maybe you don't even want the Mac Mini, right? Maybe you want to just go ahead and get the uh, MacBook Air or something. So just think it through before you buy and pull the trigger so you're happy when you make your purchase. And uh, I hope you guys like these videos. I like to make all different content, and I hope this helps people out that are looking for new stuff. We'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.